Hello everybody, Earl Music here, United Country Real Estate, and I'm coming to you from Scotland Ranch, and we're going to do a walkthrough on the main shop building, and this right here is Tony, he's the ranch manager here, uh, he knows uh, all the ins and outs of the property here, and he would probably love to stay in employment for the future owner here at Scotland Ranch. And something else we want you to know, almost everything you see in this video is going to be staying here on the property. So this is a, uh, a package deal, don't forget that. But uh, we hope you liked the video, come take a walk through. Middle and wood shop right here. There's always something going on in here every day. Something's gotta be fixed, repaired or whatever. Do it at your own pace. Got table saws, vices, drills, all kinds of stuff going on. Over here we got the, uh, we got a welder, toolboxes, stuff going on. Right now I have the uh, lawnmower in here. You don't have to mow all 3,000 acres, but there's some places that need to be mowed. Shelves, they go up almost 20 feet high all around. Obviously you can fit a, a GMC Yukon in here and a paddle boat and a snow plow, which we're gonna need here in a couple months. Got all that going on. Got an industrial sized kitchen in here. Shelves, refrigerator, stove, small dishwasher, sinks, sprayers, all that stuff. Very comfortable. It's especially comfortable for guys coming out of the woods after hunting. Over here we have a paint room, which has a lot more in it than paint. We got paint, we got bullets, we got all kinds of wire and stuff, all kinds of fittings and everything. All around here, barbed wire. There's more barbed wire on the ranch too. All kinds of tools. Over here we got oils and thinners, things like that. More floor freezers out here. And over here is how the ranch is powered on solar power. So on the roof we got solar panels facing the sun and we got 40 batteries in here that store the energy. And we got a 10,000 gallon cistern in here that stores water for use at the whole ranch as well. And it's not hard to work, you just gotta work. Change the filters every six weeks and go with that. This would be the uh, back door over here. What well, I call the back door anyway. More storage space and shelves. Everything's labeled. And here's what we call the mud room. When you come in from outside, when it's muddy and wet, snowy outside, you come in and drop your boots off. These are for my personal guests or anybody that's not paying to stay. You hang out here in the bunk room. We got all of the linen over here. Washer and dryer, closet, toilet, and a two-person shower. If you want to go in there, it's a really good shower. Never had a problem with the heat, cold. I've never taken a cold shower here. It's all good. Everything works. As we go out here, we can go upstairs. Let's, let's walk out into the... Um Boiler room? Boiler room and okay. see how this is heated and cooled. Okay. Well, the mud room and let me get these lights over here. Turn that fan out. So the mud room is uh, the mud room and the shouse, what we call the shouse, uh, the, the uh, house in the shop where I live is heated by the solar energy. But if I, during the winter time, if I want to heat up the uh, shop, I got to throw some wood in this boiler. So you can stack the wood up here, got to split some wood, throw that in there. <coughs> but generally speaking, the house is pretty cold, pretty warm during the winter, pretty cool during the summer because it has a very thick foundation, which I'm not sure if it's three, four, five, six feet deep, but it, it, it maintains the temperature pretty well. When we get this up to like 80 degrees, and but just by throwing some wood in here and starting this thing up, which I, I haven't done since March, but it stays pretty warm. 
Then right out into here too, we got the lean-to where all the uh, ATVs and UTVs are parked. Right. But right now we're going to go upstairs and check out the uh, living quarters. All right. So this is the loft, kind of like a game room. We've got a pool table, ping pong table, small bar and stuff, just a place to hang out. And you look down here, you can see over the shop, everything is down in, in the shop garage. Go in. This is where I come home to every night. This is the house, the shop house. Come in here, very comfortable, nothing fancy. Everything in here is the ranch manager stuff though. This is the bedroom. Should have made my bed a little better, but that's it. Closet, walk-in closet, obviously. Bathroom. I try to keep it clean. I don't have a housekeeper. I need to get a housekeeper. Out here, we have an office, which is, which can also be used as a bedroom if you want to. But it's an office for me. And I come out every day and I can look over most of the ranch to the north. Over there you got the bird barn, uh, poultry barn, sorry. Poultry barn, the main pond. You got the fields, the canola fields, the alfalfa, the summer wheat and uh, winter wheat. So I can see to the north and I can see to the west. A little bit to the south over here in the canyons. This is where I brush my teeth every morning. I come out here and just kind of walk around and survey the property. I can see the main gate. I can see the lodge. There's the horse barn and gate barn that you just passed over there. There's the entrance. And the lodge. So if anything crazy is going on, you can kind of see it if you just walk out here in the morning and check it out. Makes a pretty good spot to shoot a coyote from too, doesn't it? Exactamente. <laughs>